Hello. I've got the goods. We're going to test it out, try it out, put it to a full day wear test, apply it in multiple different ways. All of the things. The new Patrick Ta Foundation. Shall we? Hey Siri, what time is it? It's 7.28 a.m. The delay. Siri, thank you. <laughs> sure thing. So it's 7.30 in the morning. I want it to be nice and early so we can wear this all day. A true hardcore wear test. And as always with my foundation reviews, I get nice and close. We go out in natural light. We go out in the car. All of the things. And of course we do multiple methods of application. We do sponge, brush, and hand. So we can see. I want to touch on everything for everyone because we all have our different preferences and maybe there's one that seems to work better than the other. <laughs> so let's get into some details about the new Patrick Ta Foundation. Let's start off with what is the name of this thing? This is called the Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. Here is what our packaging looks like. Very Patrick Ta. One fluid ounce, and I got it in the shade 17 Golden Peach. All of my shade references are listed down below, along with my Sephora match code. I include that because let's say one of the uh, foundations that are listed, you don't know anything about it, you don't use it, you could care less. I give you that code so that you can go onto the Sephora site and it'll give you a list of all of foundations based on that match. This is pretty. <laughs> like, yes, I saw Patrick Ta himself share this, unveil it. I was just, woo, gorgeous. This is very, very nice. It's glass. And again, this is one fluid ounce. Comes with a pump. More details up here on the top. I'm into it. I'm into it. Feels good in the hand. It's substantial. It's nice. First impression, it's a good one. Enhance your natural radiance with this luminous medium coverage foundation. Lightweight, hydrating, and infused with three types of hyaluronic acid, plus squalene and fermented kombucha. The formula blends seamlessly and blurs imperfections for a glowy skin-like finish. Hydrating, luminous finish, buildable medium coverage. I'm 39, I've got combination skin, dry to normal outer perimeter, oily T-zone, and majority of my forehead is quite dry. So I feel like we're gonna have some fun checking out how this wears on multiple different textures and also how it applies in multiple different ways. Patrick Ta has been posting a lot of demos and lots of information about this foundation. I heard him say that you don't need to use a moisturizer when you're going to use this because of all of the ingredients. So I've already done my morning skincare routine and that was a couple of hours ago. It's 7 30 now but I wake up at five, so at that time, I did my morning skincare routine. So it's been a couple of hours. I'm gonna just leave things be and we'll go in with the foundation just like this. Not gonna do any more special prep and we'll see. So again, I got the shade number 17, Golden Peach, and let me see what the undertones on this one is. Tan with Golden Peach undertones. So let's give the product a good shake and let's test out texture and consistency. What does that sound? I don't know, what does that sound? Do you hear that? I don't know. Let's see. Mm-hmm, okay. It is very much a serum-like, lightweight texture and consistency, and it feels really good, ooh. There is no fragrance to this, yes. <laughs> I'm excited! A little bit of lip prep. I'm gonna go in with my Dr. Dennis. Gross, just a little. You do not need a lot of this stuff. It's a lip pumper and a lip treatment all in one. I like using it to smooth my lines and prep my lips for whatever I decide to go in with next. So, all right, so I'm gonna go in with one pump. We'll start with that and we'll see what we need going forward. I'm going in with my spatula to apply the foundation. 
nice even layer on the skin so that I don't use too much product. For our first method of the application, I'm gonna be using a brush. This one is from Westman Atelier. This is the Liquid Blender brush. Beautiful finish. It's nice coverage, but I am gonna need just a little bit more in my areas uh, where I have some imperfections. Taking whatever product I have left, and let's see if we can build it up. It's very pretty on the skin. Very pretty and natural type of finish for sure. So no product, and then built up a little bit. For this side's method of application, I'm going in with a sponge. This sponge in particular is from Dominique Cosmetics. The foundation blends into the skin really nicely. <laughs> Such a pretty finish too. I feel, I feel good, I feel hydrated. It's nice and light. I love that so much. It's important how something feels on your skin because it's gonna be there all day. <laughs> Going in with a little bit more product just to build it a bit. What I like is as I'm going in with the next layer of product, it doesn't feel like it. Doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. It's pretty good. Let's not forget the nose, okay? <laughs> we love this tool right here. It's always with you. It's warm. It helps product melt and blend in very easily. So for my forehead, I'm gonna go in with my hand. I'm gonna just put a little. Here is the amount I have on my little finger. My forehead is extremely dry. This feels so good. Like, so good. <laughs> I mean, it feels good all over on my regular areas, on my oily areas. It feels very good, but like on my forehead, because if you have dry skin, you know that dry skin feeling. This feels really good. I get the whole, you don't need an extra moisturizer. It contains enough moisture that you can get away with just using the foundation. Yeah, nice. <laughs> and I really like how it looks on my forehead too. I have just a little bit of product. I'm gonna just... Put a little bit more and blend it in. All right, so here's our final close up since we did all methods of application brush, sponge, and the forehead, which was hands. It's nice and hydrated and we are having more of a luminous finish right now. Now Patrick said, because again I've been watching a lot of his promotional content, and he says you want to make sure that you set wherever you're more oily prone and you can totally leave the other areas without any powder. But before we set, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'll have everything I use today listed and linked down below in the description box. This is my normal go-to concealer and for the rest of my face because I do like to share the other products, how they apply. I'm gonna be using my you know normal go-to products. I'm just gonna quickly set my under eye. <sighs> All I'm gonna say is what a shame. I know, I've seen it too. <laughs> but I am gonna go in with my older formulated Givenchy uh, powder. I 
I am literally halfway on these and I don't know. I don't know. And obviously I haven't tried the new ones to really determine if all of the things that I'm seeing are true. Finishing up, going in with my bronzer. A little bit of not too much. Just featured this in my favorites. It's the highlighter from Patrick Ta in Baby. I go in with the cream. Now with those other products applied over top, here is how the skin is looking. Went over top nicely, feeling good. Gonna quickly do an eye look and then we'll get our wear test started. So here's our finished look. I do feel that all of my products applied and look very nice over top of the new foundation. Still feels very comfortable. Feels good. I like the finish. It's very me. I can still see my skin. I'm liking it so far. It's really muggy and rainy today, but, but then again, this is Florida. It might change in five minutes. <laughs> So we'll do a couple of check-ins. I'll share with you how we're holding up, how we're doing, how we're looking throughout the day. And then at the end of the day, let's see how she does. Hey, so here's what happened. My mic, I accidentally turned it off because I ended up filming a nail content video. Um, so I'm just showing you the nails and I was talking about it because I was so excited. I finally tried to pray and they did a collab with Hello Kitty well, this one in particular is Karomi. Anyways, it's a little after one o'clock and I was just doing my check-ins. So at this point, I remember that I got a little bit shiny in the nose. And again, this is a little after one o'clock. Uh, it's pretty normal, fairly normal for me because it is quite humid out and I do have that area that is a little bit more shiny. But overall, I think everything was still holding up pretty well. So I'm going to get close and show you and let the product speak for itself. Hi. It's six o'clock. Well, it's like five minutes to six. And I'm just checking in. Show you how everything is looking. I'm gonna sh save my thoughts for later. Cause I have a few. But I just wanna show you how everything is looking at the moment. And quickly tell you, I think it still feels pretty good on the skin. It still feels comfortable. It doesn't feel heavy or anything like that. I'm very satisfied with the overall feel of it. And I like to share how something feels because it's important, obviously, it's sitting on your face all day. Another thing is um, it has been rainy, muggy, and hot all day. <laughs> very Florida. I share that also because climate, weather has a lot to do with how a product may perform um but for the most part today i haven't really been outside too too much usually i will sit outside intentionally for a minimum an hour just to see how things do but i, I didn't really have the opportunity let me show you how it looks outside so you can kind of have an idea this is the weather it's muggy it's hot and then hi here's my face so this is the side we use the brush here's how it's looking brush and hands. Nose is getting shiny. <sighs> I'm having this weird thing going on around my mouth. And I don't like, around the mouth looks really bad. <laughs> I have a few errands to run before I get back home. So yeah, that's that for now. I'll see you again in a bit. Hi! 
Good evening. It's the end of the day, and here I am. Hey, Siri, what time is it? It's 8.43 p.m. It's almost 9 o'clock, <laughs> and I'm here to let the product speak for itself. I love sharing these full day wear tests with you and allowing the products to speak for themselves so you can see exactly what I see and I can share with you what I experienced and then, you know, tell you how I'm feeling about everything. So let's talk about some of these claims and, you know, how they really were. So lightweight and luminous foundation. Oh, yes. I definitely... I think in every check-in, I talked about how it felt. It was very comfortable on the skin all day. Very comfortable, very lightweight. It really didn't feel like anything. And that's major, especially for something so hydrating. So yes, and then the luminosity, yes, obviously you can see it. Serum-inspired ingredients. As you saw when I put my little swatch of the product, this definitely has a thinner, light serum texture, absolutely. Buildable medium coverage. I I want to I, I think I want to classify this as a light medium in coverage. I'm able to hide my freckles, but my heavier imperfections, not so much. A formula that boosts hydration and blurs the look of imperfections. Definitely, definitely, yes, on that boost of hydration. My forehead area is super duper dry and I have to say that that area all day was so comfortable and hydrated. Yeah, I really enjoyed that part a lot, a lot. <laughs> now the whole blurs, the look of imperfections, that's something we'll talk about when I get super close so you can actually see a little bit more, but yes, but I didn't experience that all day, so. <laughs> Let's get close so I can let the product speak for itself, okay? Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna start off on my forehead. Again, my forehead is the driest area and that is the section that I used my hands. I think it looks amazing on my dry area. It looks amazing. <laughs> now, I have some fine lines on my forehead. Okay, you can see them right there. One, two, three, all right? They look super smooth because of all the hydration, the boost of hydration that I am getting from this foundation. I really like how it looks on my dry area. Amazing, really, really like it. Now this is the section that we use the sponge. Over here, we use the brush. On this section, this is the section that I have more imperfections and that's where we're gonna touch on the coverage. My freckles, nice, gone can't see them, but my heavier imperfections, you can see them. So the coverage I wanna say is a light medium, whereas it'll put everything away, but if you have like real hardcore heavy imperfections, it's just gonna kinda smooth and soften them up a bit. For the claim of the blurred imperfections kinda gig, I feel as if this area looks a little bit textured, right in the cheeks. See that? I am a little oily here. That is to be expected. I have not touched up. I haven't done anything. I let the product be all day. <laughs> um, but you can see my pores. I don't feel very smooth and hidden, but it's not anything that I feel makes the product bad. So I just wanna make that clear. This doesn't bother me, especially like the shiny part. That would be something I would touch up. It's normal. I have a combo skin type where I get oily. I'll just pat with a little powder. That is the area we did set with powder too. So there's that, keep that in mind. Now, I feel everything's pretty good up to this point. And again, I'm just gonna let the product speak for itself. Around my mouth, I'm just not loving it. <laughs> Even the little settling in the smile lines, that's not a big deal to me, That that that's whatever. But like a little bit of separation going on around the mouth and it feels a little dry. Looks a little cakey in that area. Not very flattering, but I, again, just want to let products speak for themselves. So like, everything looks pretty good, except around here. We're letting products speak for themselves. 
What I'll do really quick is let me just touch up with a little bit of powder and let's see if we can kind of revive things. But I want it to be, you know, upfront and honest and just show you everything hot off the press, you know. <laughs> Going in with Old Faithful Givenchy. This is what I would do, so let's just see. I've gone in with a little bit more. Let's touch that nose because, woo, your girl is shiny on the nose. <laughs> Big difference already. Definitely took down the shine and looks pretty good. We powdered the nose and this side. Looks a lot better. No complaints. I think it looks great. looks fine. So now, let's even everyone out. There we go. We revived it. I think it looks great. If all you need to do is just touch up with a little powder, great foundation. My biggest issue is just what's going on around the mouth area. So we gave it a full day wear test and I let the product speak for itself. One thing I will say about this is if you are oily, I honestly don't think that this is going to work the greatest for you only because in my oiliest areas, I feel that after a couple of hours, it was very greasy. <laughs> And most of the times, yes, you can set, you can prime the skin certain ways to make products work for your skin type. Absolutely. That goes without saying. But I still think it's going to look greasy. If your skin is dry, you are going to love this so much because the dry areas on my skin look the best with this. Again, my only issue is that cakiness that I got around the mouth. Overall, I think it's a nice product. Texture, consistency, hydration, finish, all of those things are nice. And I think it wore well. Other than that area that I showed you around the mouth, everywhere else looked pretty decent, right? So I don't know. I'm going to continue to try it out. I'm not giving up on it yet. With everything you saw, me letting the product speak for itself, let's talk about it. Let me know what you guys think. What are you thinking about this new guy? What What are we thinking? How are we feeling about it? You know, based on what you saw, and if you've tried it, let me know. Let's talk about it. I'm curious. I want to hear, I want to hear it all. <laughs> I appreciate you spending your time with me, allowing me to share this product with you, all the details, all of the things. Take a minute and give today's video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.